Hollywood icon Tom Cruise performed a daring death-defying action tonight during an elaborate handover ceremony in Paris by jumping from the roof of the Stade de France. At the dramatic finale of the Summer Olympic closing ceremony, the 62-year-old threw himself off a ledge in front of thousands of spectators and Olympians while wearing a harness. As he took office, Tony Estanguet, the organizer of Paris 2024, thanked everyone for playing their part in the games. Her, a popular R&B singer from the U.S., then performed and played the Stars and Stripes, the national song of the U.S., on her guitar. After landing safely, Cruz was given the Olympic flag with five rings by gymnast Simone Biles and the mayor of Los Angeles, which he hoisted onto the back of a motorbike that was waiting. The action actor then drove out of the arena while wearing his signature black leather jacket, Top Gun. Live concerts on Venice Beach by California residents Red Hot Chili Peppers, Billie Eilish, and Snoop Dogg marked the beginning of the transition across the Atlantic. It followed an absurd exhibition of artistic acts, featuring a renowned French musician, a composer with a piano hung in midair, and a golden voyager with dozens of dancers accompanying them. The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Billie Eilish, and Snoop Dogg gave sold-out audiences at Venice Beach a preview of what's to come during the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. The Olympic flag reached the renowned beach where Red Hot Chili Peppers were performing their hit song Can't Stop after being shared amongst multiple U.S. Olympians. The rock group then gave the stage to Eilish, who looked adorable in an oversized t-shirt, shorts, and baseball cap as she performed a beautiful version of her new song, Birds of a Feather. Later, Snoop, who has made appearances at several Olympic events, entered the beach with fellow American rapper Dr. Dre to perform their hit song Drop It Like It's Hot. The closing celebration turned out to be just as bizarre as the opening ceremonies, featuring a golden bee man entering the stadium, a flying pianist, and toilet roll mummies dancing around. Once the golden traveler was brought down from the roof to the stage, Someone in a cloak gave them a Greek flag, signifying the game's historical roots. Later, some acrobats costumed like extraterrestrial beings joined the traveler on stage, assisting him in finding the Olympic rings that had been raised off the stadium floor. Next, composer Alain Roche performed a suspended piano piece by Benjamin Bernheim, a French pianist and opera singer, followed by a performance of him to Apollo. Following their performance, Athletes staged a pitch invasion of the stage while a film chronicling their triumphs and setbacks over the games was screened for the audience. The competitors were asked to exit the stage by announcements in both French and English, but many chose not to listen, endangering the performance. A few athletes exited the venue after being removed from the stage where Phoenix was performing. Some went on to jump, dance, and raise their arms in the air. Huge applause greeted Paris 2024 organizer Tony Estanguet as he described how the games had improved everyone's mood, even the whale who photobombed the surfing final in Tahiti. He extended his gratitude to all those who contributed to the success of these Olympic Games, including the athletes, security personnel, and volunteers. You made us happy, you made us proud, thank you very much he said to the competitors. Among all the records he was proud of breaking during the games, he continued, was the record number of marriage proposals made during competition. Zaho de Sagazan, a French vocalist, and a chorus presented a version of Under the Paris Sky earlier in the evening. The trio sang the song in Paris Tillery's garden just before French swimmer Leon Marchand, a four-time gold medalist, arrived into the Stade de France with a little flame. The crowd roared when flag bearers from each of the competing nations entered the arena and the orchestra played a stirring rendition of the French national hymn, La Marseillaise. Great Britain's flag bearers, gold medalists Alex Yee and Brian E. Page, walked out. The two, wearing blue shorts and flowered tops, grinned as he gawked around the stadium, nearly tripping. Following their nation's thousands of Olympians pouring into the Stade de France, they got together for karaoke. Les Champs Elysees, Gala Rosado Freed from Desire, and Queen's Timeless We Are the Champions were among the sing-along songs. Imane, the controversial gender row fighter, was meant to represent Algeria as its flag bearer. However, she was not present during the Olympic closing ceremonies. Tom Cruise, the Hollywood action hero, is predicted to add a dramatic touch to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, 
which have been acclaimed as a huge success in spite of a stormy and disorganized beginning. A person clothed in gold descended onto the stage from the heavens as the artistic performance got underway. The stage for the ceremony represented a global map, with distinct regions standing in for Australia, Europe, Asia, North and South America, and Africa. In the sea, a massive Olympic medal was displayed. As a goddess figure emerged from one of the so-called country states, the figure executed acrobatic twists. Then, wrapped in enormous metal wheels that represented the five Olympic rings, many dozen dancers performed an intricate dance routine and acrobatic stunts throughout the various continents. Olympic officials have praised the iconic rapper Snop Dogg's many appearances for helping to bring the games to a record-breaking audience of half of the world's population. Alongside a rugged-looking Prince William, the Princess of Wales praised Team GB's incredible achievement on social media. The song, Champs Elysees, was played, and thousands of spectators joined the athletes in singing. The dance hit, Free From Desire, then sent the stadium into a frenzy of activity. The Algerian Olympic Committee stated last night that it was, normal, for the nation to abruptly withdraw gender row fighter Imane Khalif from representing Algeria at the closing ceremony. Gymnast Kalia Namur, 17, who had won a gold medal, took her spot. It is quite normal that Imain Khalif does not fly the Algerian flag, despite our announcement to the contrary, a spokesperson stated. Gold medal winning gymnast Kalia Namur is a young woman, and it makes perfect sense for her to assume this role. This is not out of the ordinary. Tonight, the royal couple shared a photo on Instagram. Bravo, at Team GB. What an amazing ride. Each athlete showed a great deal of heart, enthusiasm, and determination. We are all very proud of you. Let's celebrate every victory at at Paris 2024 and eagerly await more Paralympic events later this summer. Despite numerous requests from fans throughout France for them to be included in the event, Joyful House heroes Daft Punk will not get the party started. French indie band Phoenix and electronic duo Air are also scheduled to perform. Several well-known Americans, including Cruz, 62, have flown into the French capital to watch the proceedings. Throughout the games, rapper Snoop Dogg has been a constant presence. A number of celebrities, including Nicole Kidman, Ryan Gosling, Eva Mendez, and Sharon Stone, have been cited attending events. During his visit, rock icon Mick Jagger has been observing Team GB competitors as he circles the track with his partner Melanie Hamrick and their eight-year-old son Devereaux. Alex Yee, the triathlon winner, and Bryony Page, the trampolinist, were selected as Team GB's flag bearers to lead the competitors' farewell procession inside the stadium in the French capital. In a separate letter, the king congratulated rivals and called them an inspiration. It said, My spouse and I would like to extend our sincere congratulations to the athletes and support staff from Team GB and the Commonwealth as a whole, for their numerous remarkable triumphs at the Olympic Games in Paris. Your accomplishments in a wide range of fields came from a priceless blend of innate ability, genuine perseverance, and years of hard work. These past few weeks, sportsmanship and teamwork in the greatest traditions of the Games, have further enhanced your achievements. To those who did not win the biggest awards, know that you have not diminished the pride in your countries that you have brought about. I can only say that you have all been an inspiration as we look forward to the Paralympics ahead and thank France for hosting such a wonderful tournament. The two received the honor after a British Olympic Association Council recommended them. On Sunday night, they will carry the flag into the Stade de France. Yi's two medals in Paris solidified his status as the most successful Olympic triathlon of all time. In the men's individual triathlon, the 26-year-old won the gold medal after closing the gap with Hayden Wilde of New Zealand. Page, however, captured the first-ever gymnastics medal for Britain. Over 100 dancers and circus performers will perform during the two-and-a-half-hour celebration. The closing ceremony will feature a new creative segment in addition to more conventional components like the athlete parade, a thank you to the 45,000 volunteers, and the women's marathon medal presentation. The thousands of supporters who had flocked into the expansive Stade de France stadium screamed with delight even before the ceremony started, despite the intense heat of 33 degrees Celsius that day. While they awaited the start of the entertainment, 
they did a Mexican wave around the arena that had housed the athletics events of the games. The performance began with an orchestra while footage from the opening ceremony was screened for both local viewers and viewers worldwide. It is anticipated that the house would erupt in cheers for French swimming sensation Leon Marchand, who won five medals in the pool, including four golds. As the Olympics in Paris come to an end, the Prime Minister has thanked Team GB's competitors and complimented them for inspiring a new generation of athletes. On X, the former Twitter, Sir Keir Starmer posted, Congratulations and well done to all of our amazing athletes and support staff from at Team GB. You're not just returning with medals. You've delighted a country and motivated a new wave of athletes. I'm grateful. The exhibit, titled Records, according to artistic director Thomas Jolly, aims to transport viewers on an immersive trip through time reminiscent of a science fiction dream. It starts with the history of the Olympic Games and ends with a dystopian future in which the Olympics have vanished and need to be recreated. The Olympic flame will be extinguished from Tilleries, where tens of thousands of spectators have seen the cauldron on display. Thomas Bach, the president of the International Olympic Committee, will declare the Olympic Games to be over. Additionally, Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass will receive the Olympic banner from Mayor and Hidalgo of Paris. The organizers of Paris 2024 will be keen to avoid a recurrence of the controversy that erupted during the opening ceremony. The segment featuring drag queens was perceived by some Christians and conservatives as a mockery of the biblical account of the Last Supper. But there's no reason to worry that the deluge of rain that ruined a number of the shows at the grand opening ceremony will happen again tonight. And after a significant security crackdown throughout the city, more sabotage attacks that destroy France's railway system and leave tens of thousands of people stuck are not anticipated. The opening ceremony of the Paris 2024 Paralympics is scheduled for September 8, Sunday, and will take place in the Place de la Concorde in the heart of the French city. The opening ceremony for the 2028 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles is scheduled for July 14, with the closing ceremony falling on July 30, just over two weeks later. This will be LA's third time hosting the biggest athletic event in the world. The US megacity, which is home to around 7.8 cars, has promised to almost completely eliminate cars during the 2028 Olympic Games. T20 cricket, lacrosse, baseball, squash, and flag football, also known as non-contact gridiron, will be among the many new sports offered. Sports like sport climbing, skateboarding, and surfing, which were huge hits at the French Games, will endure. However, breakdancing, which had its Paris 2024 premiere and was harshly ridiculed, won't be included. This is happening just hours before the city's spectacular Olympic closing ceremony, which caused havoc in Paris this afternoon due to a topless prankster. Around 2.45 p.m. local time, 1.45 p.m. British summer time, the blonde, shirtless man was shown on camera climbing the 1,000-foot-tall monument above the first viewing deck and the Olympic rings that adorn the second section of the monument. As they described the hectic scenes, flustered guests said today how emergency personnel had hurried them down the tower's stairs. A topless man was seen in the video being led away by police in handcuffs. He then turned to the camera and said, it's bloody hot, in it, with a British-sounding accent. Around 3.30 p.m., the entrance beneath the tower was closed and tourists were led out of the area by police. After being kept up for a short while, several guests were eventually let out some 30 minutes later. A Paris police officer said, speaking on condition of anonymity due to an ongoing investigation into the incident, that about 2.45 p.m., someone began climbing the Eiffel Tower. Police intervened and the person was detained. 